So, he said, how should this name be polluted? Read. And I will not give my glory unto another. He says he's not going to give his glory unto another, meaning to another nation. And who's the glory of the Most High? Who is the glory of the Most High? Hello? Who's the glory of the Most High? Israel. Hamashiach Yahushai is the glory of the Most High. He said, I would not give my glory unto another. Matthew 15, 24. See what he said. So he says he's only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what he said out of his own mouth. That's why he said he's not going to give his glory unto another. That's why we have to really look at the condition and the things that's planned against us. as part of the one-third that the Most High is refining now because get Revelation is the 12th chapter and read verse 17. Revelation chapter 12 verse 17. And the dragon was wrought with the woman. So the dragon is a serpent is Satan and the devil and Esau who became the Edomites and they all the color of all of them is what? Red. Red. Kind. There's only one person know that and only one person participating in the class. Okay. Okay, so red. Okay, so the dragon I mean symbolically is representing Spirit of Satan, spirit of the devil, spirit of the dragon, spirit of the serpent, spirit of the Edomites. Because they all are red. Symbolically, read. Gonna be, gonna be what? Wrath with the woman. The woman, get uh, Jer hold that, get Jeremiah 6 and 2. Who is this woman that it's talking about? That's why by the time we get to the end of the Bible revelation, we got to know all these precepts to be able to understand what it's talking about. Read that. Right. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Right. So, symbolically, one third of the twelve tribes of Israel are the bride of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, huh. who is the husband. So now, knowing that Israel represents this woman by the time we come to Revelation, that's why you got to know all these precepts by the time you get here. Verse 17 again. Huh. Revelation 12 and 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. The dragon was wroth, was angry, but for wrath, indignation against Israel. With Israel. Read. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. With the remnant of her seed. Went to make war with the remnant of her seed. And one third of the twelve tribes of Israel. We call the remnant, the chosen, the few, the all, which is a certain number, many, the justified, the sanctified, the chosen, the elect, the election, the remnant, and so forth, and so on. The one third of the twelve tribes of Israel, the sheep that hear Mashiach Gavashad's voice. Go ahead. Yeah, keep the commandments of the Most High. So you know, this is not everybody, because the church teaches you not under the law. 
right? And they don't have the true testimony of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. They're not going to Matthew 15 and 24. They say, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But that counsels them out because they tend to talk everybody that they're Gentiles. So if he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, then how do they fit in? How do they really fit in? They don't. Get uh, Romans 12 and 2. Romans 12 and 2. Romans 12 and 2. Don't be conformed to this world. Read. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. See, being you got to be transformed. You got to change. You got to be created in a new person from who you were. Those that say, I've been like this all the time, you haven't been transformed in your mind. You got to renew your mind. That's what this truth is about. Program yourself with the word of the Most High. That you can live righteously. So I say, and be ye transformed. So be, don't be not transformed to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Let you know, because you already, you already know the world. That's why you got to be transformed. From the way of the world. That's why he said in, in uh, Revelation 18 and 4, Come out of her, my people. That you don't receive the place that's going to come on this earth. But you learn how to be righteous. You know how to humble yourself. How to have a broken and contrite spirit before the Most High. And prepare yourself for what's getting ready to go down. And please the Most High so you make your enemies be at peace with you. You become invisible. That's another topic. Go ahead. That you may prove what is that good. That you, you may prove that which is good. That's a comma. You may prove what is that good. What's the good? First of all, what's the most high is good. And what's good is law, statutes, commandments is good. And having faith in the Mashiach, Yahweh was shy. Read. And acceptable. And perfect will of the Most High. What's acceptable and perfect will of the Most High? What's, what's, what's acceptable and perfect will of the Most High? Was acceptable in the perfect will of the Most High? Keep His commandments. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments, and justify our faith in the Most High God with God. Con, con, con. That's right. That's right, right. Read, um. Uh, First Peter's five. And six. First Peter's five, six to eight. Say, humble yourself. You gotta bring your, you gotta subject yourself into the Most High, man. You gotta humble yourself under the mighty hand of the Most High. Read. That He may exalt you in due time. That He may exalt you in due time. 
So this is a subnet that's just going to come automatically. But when you start to see what it is that we have to do before the Most High, then He's going to exalt you in due time. But you got to bring yourself under the order of the Most High. That He's going to exalt you in due time. You got to have patience, though. Go ahead. Casting all your care upon Him. Casting all your care upon the Most High. All your care upon the Most High. For he cares for you. Hear that? The most I care for us. But how much do we care for him? How much do we do for him? He's calling us. And we gotta do enough to be the chosen. You're not gonna be chosen and doing nothing. Does that make sense? You get paid for doing nothing? You have to do something to get something. <laughs> Anything. But he said he cared for us. Because he said he loved Jacob. Read. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary is a devil. As a roaring lion walking about. He made the Hear that? We have to be sober. That means focus first and foremost. And you can't be focused if you're drinking and you're drunk or you're doing certain things that's contrary to take your mind off of this truth. Unless you know you world you wilding out. Why? Because the devil has got in you. And having you do the things that's contrary to to being sober. That's the first thing he said. Be what? Sober. Be sober. Be focused. And you can't be focused if you're drinking all the time. Or you're doing drugs. Or you're doing whatever. Any kind of, you know, changing your mind. So what? Or what? You say influence? Influence. Yeah, influence. Influence. Yeah. Well, anything that's going to take you off of being consciously focused, huh. you're not sober no more. You're not focused no more. Because your adversary, I mean your enemy, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk of about seeking whom we may devour. Now we just told you. It just said what? Do y'all everybody know about the dragon, the serpent, Satan, the devil, and the Edomites, right? I don't went through that with y'all, right? Huh? Well we say they all red, right? Con? So now I say the dragon, the serpent, you see the dragon, the serpent, the devil, Satan, Edomites, they all fit in the same category. Because the devil gonna get into somebody to make them do whatever they're gonna do. You just said they're gonna the dragon. The dragon is who? Who the dragon? The devil, Satan. And who else? And who else? One more. Serpent. Serpent. There it is. So no matter what word they're using, it's still the same entity that's coming up against us. But we have to be prepared spiritually. Because it's already in place. It's just a matter of those that do know, those that are in the spirit will continue to roll in the right perspective to be able to make it through the times that's going to come. Please in the most high. And not man. But we still got to love each other. So don't get it twisted. Thinking that you all by yourself, you please the most high, so now you got it going on. No. 
Because he said, well, two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst thereof. Kind? So it's not about individualists, it's about us coming together still. Are we coming together now? You know, it means to be able to, you know, get this truth and study together on the Sabbath to honor, honor the Most High. And he's pleased with that because this is what we've done in the, in the past. It's very important. Because the devil, man, as an enemy, man, he's going around saying who we can devour. I just told you how they're going to come against the remnant. Get Ezekiel 37, 9 and 10. Ezekiel 37, 9 and 10. Now, you know, you look at, I look at, I look at this. What's the chances of both the live stream and the conference call cutting off at the same, exact same time? Hello? Yeah? What's the chances of that? <laughs> We're going to find out. Because, and I hope in the spirit, you can see this spiritually because a lot of things going to be happening and you got to keep it moving. You just got to keep it moving. You find another way to keep it moving. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Read. To the wind. If you got to prophesy to the wind. If nobody's there, he say prophesy. Prophesy to the wind. He told him. And say, read. This is what the Most High is saying. This is what the Most High by Shimon Mashiach Yavashai is saying. Read. It said, come from the four winds, meaning come from the four corners of the earth. And what? And breathe. Go ahead. It said, breathe upon these slain. Breathe upon these slain. Why does it say, breathe upon these slain? Because we're the dead Israelites. Until we become alive to the truth, to the spirit of the Most High. That's why we slain. You know, we done laid on the ground, man. I mean, we done laid on the ground. Esau done went over us, man. I mean, it is what it is. That's why when they say they don't want to bow down, it's all right. You don't have to now, but you're going to bow down. Everybody going to bow down to a Mashiach Kel shot, whether they want to or not. That's right. <laughs> bow down now, you're going to bow down later, but you're going to bow down. That's for sure. Read on. That we may live. That we may live. The slain say, breathe upon them, bring this knowledge of understanding of the Most High's word into us, where we learn it, we live it, and apply it in our life, that we may live. So if you're alive, you got a choice to choose what? Life or what? Death. So you want to live with the spirit of the Most High in these last days to make it to the kingdom. Read. So he prophesied as he commanded us. Read. And the breath came into them. The breath is coming into us. Read. And they lived. And they lived. These were dry bones with no flesh on them at all. The valley of the dry bones. That's who we are, the 12 tribes of Israel. Slain. I mean. It felt good to hear somebody just put it in their face, man. Straight up. Yeah.
if you have the spirit of knowing what's, what has happened to us and never forgot. Like they never forget. Because you got some people out there, I mean, I imagine they really didn't expect her to come out and say the things she's saying, Miss Ali. But I commend her for saying it. Because she got a stage to say it. She put it in her face. The things that they've done to us. And they want to talk about that. Slavery. She even said, look, y'all gave the Japanese 25000 then or extra 5000 We never gave us reparation for slavery. I mean, she got a, she got an opportunity to put all that in their face, man. That's powerful. As the word says, she's just not bringing the word. So how how you protect it, I can't say. But I pray the Most High, you know, look over her. By Shem Mashakelshan. But you can't just say whatever you want to say. You got to come from the Word of the Most High, represent Him. But He's having it done, cause I heard it with my own ears. Read. And stood up upon their feet. An exceeding great army. An exceeding great army. And that's what we stand up upon our feet, being an exceeding great army. And with this army, what is he going to do? Daniel 7, 18. And the children of Israel are the saints. The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, read. And possess the kingdom. And possess the kingdom, how long? Forever. That's why we got next. Because the saints of the Most High are going to take the kingdom. They don't ask for no reparations. <laughs> they ain't voting for it. Just like no, no kingdom has came into power without war. But they say the saints of the Most High going to take the kingdom. They say going to ask for it? No. They say the saints of the Most High going to take the kingdom and possess the kingdom. How long? Forever. Forever. Read. Forever That's why I said Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Can't change this. Ephesians 6 and 10. Don't get it twisted because the battle that we're fighting at this time is not a physical battle. This is where we at. That's why I say they can't fight who it is that got our back right now. But it's going to turn physical. But it's not the time. And no matter what they have, they can't, they can't defeat or take down the prophecies that the Most High has already prophesied. How it's going to go down, right? Be strong in the most high by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. That's how we're going to be strong. With the spiritual power that the most high has given us by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Read. And in the power of his might. So what do you say give us? You say don't give us a spirit of fear, but of what? Power. And a sound mind. The power of his might. Not our own might. But the power of his might, like the angels, read, okay. like the angels, okay. read. Put on the whole armor of the Most High. So we got to put on the whole armor, armor is for protection. So I said you got to learn of the Most High, you got to learn of a Mashiach Yahushat. You got to learn to live righteously. 
You got to please the most high so that he can make your enemies not even consider you. So that's why you got to put on the whole armor of the most high at this time. Protection of the most high. Read. So how are you going to stand against the wiles of the devil let you know the devil's going around saying who you devour? So I said be sober, be vigilant. You got to be doing this. You got to be about it, about it, not just sometimes it. Whenever you feel like it. No, this is about, this is about your life. It's supposed to be about your life. Living for this truth. To make it. How are you going to make it to the kingdom? I mean, we don't know how long we have. Nobody knows. This thing could jump off and next thing you know a whole lot of the remnant going to be taken away. You don't know what's going to happen. Any. You know the most I'm going to bring the plagues upon this earth. Earthquakes, fires. He's already doing it. Hurricanes. Tornadoes. War. Rumors of war. Martial law. All this is in the making. On a high level. Beyond anything that we've seen on earth. Because it says it's going to be worse than it ever been on the earth. Where are you going to be at this time? These times. They're talking about revolution. How are you going to fight a revolution? You're not prepared. For what it is that's getting ready to go down on this earth. It says that you may be able to stand against what? The wiles of the devil. The wiles of the devil. The wiles of the devil. The things that the devil's going to do. Because where is he at? Where's the devil, the devil and Satan at? Turn from up and down in the earth. That's right. Going to and fro and up and down in the earth. That's where he at. Right here. It didn't say sit down. It didn't say lay down. Flat line, all that. It said, stand. Stand. Whatever means it takes to be able to stand. You got to do, do some dips. You got to do some, some squats. Whatever you got to do. Whatever you got to need to do to stand. Because you got to stand. Read. Well, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against spiritual quality. See that? Flesh and blood is mortal man. So our, our fight is not against mortal man. No matter how you look at it, the remnant is not going to be fighting with flesh and blood. We wrestle not with flesh and blood. This army, this spiritual army that he's building up, that's with power and the strength and the might of the Most High, standing for the Most High. Say, who's going who gonna to rise up for me against the evil doer? Who's going to stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Then shall a righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such that have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. When they see it, they shall be filled with terrible fear. But it's still all about what? Standing for the most high. Not sitting behind no computer. Not sitting at home. Not in your comfort zone. But standing. We got to do more. We got to encourage each other to do more. Every last one of us. To make it. Because who's to say it's us? We don't know. You know, brothers be like, they know. They, no, you don't know nothing. Most high ways and thoughts are not our ways and thoughts. I've seen so many men and women come and go, and it's true. Come and go. Just take a little something. Oh, I'm mad. I'm angry. I'm, oh, I just need oil. If something happens, split or whatever. Now they shoot. They out there in the world because that's where they want to be in the first place. Read from the top, verse 12. against man against principalities against powers against the rulers of the dark 
darkness of this world. The rulers of the ignorance of this world. Remember, the people are in gross darkness, gross ignorance. So we fighting against the people and the ones that's causing the people to be ignorant in high places. Satan is, is imps. Going to the minds of them that's ruling in the kingdom of men that the most I say he set up the basis of men to rule over us. A subspecies of mankind ruling over us that are what? Dealing with the rulers of darkness. Rulers of darkness. Our power is the light. Contrary to the darkness, the ignorance that this world has most of our people in. Because they don't know. They don't know really know about the true light that's shining bright as can be in this darkness because they refuse the light because they want to hear smooth things. Remember, they want to hear deceit. Masha Gabshai said, make sure that nobody deceive you. Many shall come in his name and deceive many. And our people have been deceived. And they love it so. Why? Because they hadn't sinned the sin. Why? Because they don't know about the law. And then you tell them about the law, then they get attitude. You're trying to bring me under subjection to something. They tell you, you believe in a book. How you believe in a book? So what they say, they'll tell you in a minute, believe in me. I said, what should I believe in you? Yeah, I, I tell, I'll show you the way. So who's now, who's the way? Who's coming in and who's representing my shot right now? The same one that's telling you, they'll show you. Whether it's your daddy, your mama, your wife, your sister, your brother, your uncle, your cousin, your nephew, your niece, whoever, your aunt, no matter. Your friend, your associate, whoever it is that's teaching you or trying to get you to follow another way. Contrary to what you see we're dealing with right now. The revolution starts within you. Preparing yourself 